We are going to replace the control valve in this built-in solar infrared grill. The control panel has to be removed, so first we remove the ignition button and the control knobs and slide the grill forward a couple of inches. Once we have access, remove the bottom bolt with a screwdriver. The top bolt can be unscrewed with your hand, but when the grill is built into an outdoor kitchen, it is common for these to be cut because they are in the way of sliding the grill into the island. Even if they're too small to get a hold on, they have to be removed to get to the control valves. These valves clamp onto the manifold. The bolts on the clamp are 8 mm. Remove the bolts and the bottom clamp to remove the valve. With the valve removed, we are going to wipe the manifold pipe with degreaser and lightly brush away any dirt. If your manifold shows rust, scrape it away and paint it with a porcelain paint or some kind of sealant like primer to coat the steel. Make sure you do not damage the valves, module, electrodes, or burner with overspray by removing the manifold completely if you clean and paint the manifold. To install the new valve, first make sure the orifice is on properly. Normally, the orifice is on the valve from the factory, but change it if necessary. Before installing the new valve, remove the burner so the venturi tube is out of the way. The inside of the valve has a small gasket that seals the gas connection so we line up the intake on the manifold and clamp it down. Be careful not to damage the gasket. Once the valve is on tight, replace the burner and make sure the burner and valve line up straight. Even a slight angle can cause gas to leak through the air shutter, ignite to melt the ignition parts, and ruin the lubrication inside the valve body. With the valves replaced and straight test for leaks, test for leaks by turning the gas tank on with the valves turned off so there is pressure in the manifold. Spray or pour soapy water on the valve so the soapy water coats the seal between the valve clamp and the manifold and look for bubbles. Bubbles mean gas is leaking so we'll need to tighten the valve or examine the gasket to either reseat the valve or replace the gasket. No bubbles means we're done. Replace the control panel and grill something. Here's a tip. The threading in those annoying top bolts that hold the control panel on the grill are the same size as the bolts in the clamp for the valve. Remove the two bolts from the old valve and use them to replace the bolts in the top of the control panel. This makes removing or replacing the control panel a lot easier next time we need to take it off. For additional information, replacement grill parts, or service schematics and manuals, contact Majestic Grill Parts at 954-2-GRILL-2 or through the website at grillrepair.com.